What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. We finally have the Osmos Mobile 2 in-house. I've been waiting on this. I needed a new stabilizing gimbal. I have had the original. My buddy has one of the other versions. I was very excited to get my hands on the Mobile 2, mainly because of the huge difference in battery life. You can see this actually does portrait mode as well as landscape mode. I don't know why necessarily you might want to use the portrait mode, but it is there for you as an option. You can see the packaging is pretty simple, comparable to how Apple packages all their things, the device on it, the name, white packaging, that is it. Let's go ahead and bust this open to show you guys what's in it. There is a simple cut I'm gonna make on the top here and just start pulling the plastic off. Um, again, this has been a long time coming. I loved the first one, however, the price was too high for a lot of people and the battery life was terrible. The battery is non-removable now, However, it's good for like up to 15 hours of recording, I believe, uh, which is a huge, huge, huge improvement over the old one. Let's go ahead and see what's in this box now. I believe what we're going to get is a sort of silicon carrying case. Yep. Similar to what DJI packages in their other product, the Spark, one of their little tinier drones. A uh, couple pieces of paperwork, the get started manual, as well as the foreign manual let's go ahead and open this baby up and see what we got it's a nice little carrying case that it comes with and there we go pretty simple you have the charging cable and the actual osmos mobile 2 in it and right off the bat i can tell you it definitely does feel and look a little cheaper than the original one because it is made of plastic not metal uh, however doesn't matter as long as it functions properly. The handle feels pretty sturdy itself, has a nice little grip to it. You can see that it is actually padded for your phone um, to keep from getting damaged in the phone holder uh, on the top and bottom. The Unfortunately, the charging cable is a standard micro USB adapter. It is not USB type C. Hopefully their next itineration will have it. But anyways, let's go ahead and check this baby out. Like I said, you can see in the phone holder, it is now actually not screwable. It is actually flexible, and it is much easier to insert your device in. You have your charging port. You have your little standard uh, adapter to stand it on one of the uh, tripods if you choose or anything of that nature. You have your regular joystick control as it was on the other one. You do have your manual button that you can hold and your recording button for your pictures and all that. On the side, you have your zoom. And it is a pretty simple affair. That is all that there is to it, really, guys. Um, it feels good in hand. It really does, surprisingly. I am very excited to actually use this and try it out as my daily gimbal um, that I'll be using on this channel pretty much exclusively now for a while. Um, you do want to make sure you set this up right. You got to balance it. There you can see it in the portrait mode and the landscape mode. Uh, I don't know if I'll personally be using that portrait mode aside to just show you guys what it looks like, but pretty neat. I'm very excited to do this. I'll go ahead and get the, the book going, download the app, and see where we go from there. All right, guys, let's go ahead and set this manual down for a minute and get my Huawei Mate 10 out, kind of show you how it needs to be balanced inside of the spring-loaded holster now. As you can see, it's so much easier than having to screw it and unscrew it like the old model. We are ready, good to go. It's in place. Now, there are two counterbalancing weights you need to screw on. One on the back right there of the phone. And the other one is actually a little arm that you want to adjust right on the, the top over here that I'm unscrewing. Sorry, it's hard to see in the picture right here. However, there you can see it on the top right. And you just want to kind of twist it and either extend it or contract it depending on what you need to balance your phone's weight at. That's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and get this set up. That's it right now, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get this all set up and sync to my account. Thumbs up this video, please. Subscribe to the channel and comment down below. We'll be back shortly.